Black power, black power, black power. Brown power, brown power, brown power. Black and brown uniting at peace for the streets. Commander Supreme, Commander Hawk for the Royal Black Panther Party, Chicago chapter. We're here for uh, Brother Jordan Neely, whose life was lost in New York City on the transit. That's why we're on the Red Line Roosevelt Station here in Chicago. We're trying to show support at the same time, let the people know in the community they are not alone. We're here to make sure everybody make it home safe. We see the K-9 unit right here. It's good to see them. But this is about us trying to save us. If one innocent life lost, it's like all of mankind is lost. If one innocent life is saved, it's like we have saved all of mankind. It's about us coming together, supporting the brother, but at the same time, letting the people know that any time you put your hands on a man, you ask him for trouble. The only way you put your hands on the individual, if your life is threatened or your property is threatened, this brother did not threaten anyone. He was threatened. Because you are homeless and because you are, have mental health problems does not mean that's a sentence of a death. So this man was killed. The guy should have been arrested for a manslaughter, and we want to see the charges go through. That is right. That is right. And, and um, you know, we live in a small world. Uh, my cousin happened to be uh, coming from Mexico, and he takes the train. He lives in New York, and he takes the train every day. And thanks to him, we have the true on video. This video was filmed by my cousin. He's a reporter, and um, hopefully, you know, this thing pay for the, for his uh, for the assassination of our brother. Tell him who you are. Uh, I'm Chiltik, the regional commander of Los Gran Berets. I'm in charge of uh, several states on the east direction of the land, and uh, with that, I want to pass the 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 phone to Tio, brother okay. Tio. Yeah, T.O. Hardeman here with Val representing Violence and the Welters. It's, it's an honor to be standing here. So I'm out here just really just advocating, speaking up for Brother brother Jordan Neely. Uh, mental health matters, you know. There's no way in the world somebody should lose his or her life because they have a mental health crisis. Uh, apparently, Jordan was not a threat to anybody on the train. He might have had some erratic behavior, but that's what happened when you got citizens sometimes that want to just try to get involved. I mean, I'm not saying citizens should not intervene at times, but this, this guy who killed this man went too far. It's a way to put people in the chokehold where you don't have to take all their breath out of them. I mean, he subdued them. He could have got them down and just held them down without even just, he could have actually wrestled them down without even putting his hand around his neck, period, and just told the man, peace be still, until the, to some professionals came on the scene, like some mental health professionals, or even the police should have showed up, and they could have kind of assessed the situation. But instead, and then Jordan's mother was killed, what I'm finding out, a few years before that, right? No, Jordan's no, mother was killed when he was, when he was 14. When he was, eight, 14. when he was 14, she was killed. So he had some trauma going on in, you know, in his own life. So we just here speaking up in the spirit for the brother, you know, because it was unfortunate, you know. So that's the only thing I have to say today. I'm glad to be here because a lot of times, you know, I have to take out a moment in my life to represent, you know, if not all the time, because that's our job. Speak up for the voiceless people. But once again, let me show a picture of this here. Once again, is it back there? I had to flip the screen, right? You know, to show the picture. I ain't gonna worry about it. Okay, anyway, when you all look at the picture of what happened to my man, the guy actually had him in a chokehold. They say, I mean, I wasn't there, but about 14, 15 minutes. You know, George Floyd was uh, the man had his knee on his neck for nine minutes, eight to almost nine minutes. But 15 minutes in a chokehold, you definitely you're gonna die twice. You would die twice in a chokehold for 15 minutes. Trust and believe me. So that's the brother. So we just here uh, saluting this brother, okay? And then these are the two guys that yeah. was holding him yeah. down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're doing a video. Hi, hi. Hi, I'm Carolyn Ruff. Black Lives Matter Women Are Safe. I am so glad to be out here. I'm glad that my brothers are out here standing with me because we are all in this together. What happened to Jordan could happen here in Chicago. You know, so we are bringing awareness that we love our people. We don't want the same thing happen here that happened in New York. So we are going to continue to come out here. We're going to continue to bring awareness. We're going to continue to help the homeless because mental health matters. And we want people to know that mental health matters. And you can't take uh, something like what happened to Jordan you can't take that and, and, and kill a person because of the fact that he was saying that he wanted something to eat. Mm. He was hollering out for help, you know, but you're going to take it upon yourself 
to kill him for no reason. And then you're saying that you're protecting the other passengers, which he wasn't really causing a threat to anyone. So I don't understand why you tackled him uh, to the floor. I don't understand that. You know, and then two other guys, they need to be convicted too, or indicted, and then convicted because they were holding his legs, they were holding his arms, so he could not move, and Jordan kept kicking one of his legs out as if to say, you're choking me, you're choking me, but they didn't, they didn't stop, they had, uh, the, uh, Daniel Penny had him in a chokehold for 15 minutes, that's more than George Floyd was in a right. chokehold. 15 minutes. And like my brother said, you, you could die twice. It don't take a, three minutes to put you to sleep. Thank right. you, thank you. You know, so yes, we want justice for uh, Jordan and we want justice for all of the people that have gone through the same thing that George Floyd, uh, Tyree, jo uh, Jordan, um, uh, who else has gotten a uh, uh, what's his name in New York? Uh, his Eric daughter. Gardner. Oh, Eric, yeah, Eric Gardner. Choked, choked yeah, he was choked to death. So we're right. standing in solidarity. Trayvon Martin, same thing. Choked to death. Yeah, yeah, so we're standing in solidarity with all of these families to let them know that Chicago support them 100%. That's all I have to say. Thank you all for all coming right. out, you. supporting me. I really appreciate that. And right. we're going to make good. things happen in Chicago. Thank you. All right. Supreme Commander Hawk, we're here. We're going to make things happen for the community. It's about us coming together, speaking with one voice. We have our own things, but we do speak with one voice. We're here to make a difference in the community. Black power, black power, black power.